Hi. How tricks? How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Um, yeah, I mean, not brilliant actually. Sorry, I'm at a really busy place. Um, if you can hear traffic and things in the background, it's a bit mad here. I'll tell oh. you about that in a minute. But yeah, just a hay fever update as per. Basically, in essence, I continued with the walking, the night walking. But it was really weird because things just seemed to be getting worse and worse. And I really couldn't understand it because I'm thinking, but it's night time. Why, is, why is this happening? Anyway, I found a new specialist and he's really, really good. Like, he totally knows what he's talking about. And, I mean, he's so thorough. For example, he wrote to the council and we got a map of where I'd been walking and a list of all the different tree varieties. So we were kind of making a list of all the possible suspects and reasons why it might have got worse. But also, he felt that maybe my vitamin D levels had gone down because of the lack of, of daylight. And he said that that might have affected my immune system and made me more susceptible. So yeah, by the time I saw him, literally my eyes were the size of saucers. Probably even breakfast plates depending on what, what manufacturer, but yeah, certainly certainly sources, if not breakfast plates. It was a bit mental, but anyway, um, to cut a long story short, he's recommended, and I have heard this before, but I, I really didn't know if this was a thing, but he's recommended that I try honey, uh, local honeys. So I'm, I'm going, I'm, that's where I'm going now. It's this very obscure, kind of a, a very exclusive uh, honey producer near me, and it's quite expensive stuff, but it, it's basically made up of all the different kind mm. of local trees and, and I guess sense. pollens and things like that. So by local bees, and mm. it's just a bit off the beaten track. So I've had to sort of make a bit of a trip of it. And I'm actually staying overnight tonight. I, I have to get there really early because it's a farm. And so I have to get there mm. really early or really late. So I've gone for the early. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a trek, but I'm really hopeful that, that by having this honey, and I have to have a certain amount every day and that kind of thing, I'm so excited that, mm. that this may be it. Um, almost like a kind of a vaccine, a kind of sweet runny vaccine that, that, that I'm, I'm looking forward to trying, so fingers crossed. Mm. Anyway, how are you? What, me? Um... I think I'm, well, I'm better off than I was. Left the agency, left Richester, just <laughs> found it a bit um, culturally kind of lacking, really. I felt I needed to be somewhere a bit more, you know, stimulating. So, I uh, one of the guys that used to come okay, to the agency, okay. I, I was sort of shacked up with him for sense. a bit. It's not in Slough, it's near Slough, mm -hmm. and that's where I am now, in fact. So I'm just sort of hanging out here for a bit. It's good. He doesn't yeah. work either at the moment. Well, we're between jobs, but he has got a TV licence. His mum and dad always, always fund a TV licence. So, right. so yeah, basically quite a lot of TV. Sit watching uh, cookery programmes and uh, having a bit of a cry. Your master chef. That tends to set me off quite a bit, crying-wise. Great British Menu, that's another one that sets me off. I don't know why, I just, sort of, just sob, bake off, things like that. I don't know if I'm being inspired or, or what, but I then tend to... I don't always remember to eat, but if I do, I'll sort of have a soup and eat or something like that. There's lots of others. It just it all blurs into one somehow. Homes Under the Hammer, have I said that? Coast versus country, winter and sun, things like that, deal or no deal. I tend to watch that speeded up, otherwise it's quite a, a long programme, so I watch it on four times the speed just to find out what happens a bit sooner. But then, what else? Um, then, uh, try and get to sleep, I sort of sleep on sofa. I sort of dip in and out of sleep throughout the night. Okay. Then, uh, okay. See what else is on. Eggheads. Just general. General shows. Making a murderer. The staircase. Documentaries. Thrilling ones. Uh, what's that other one? 
dust, can't remember the name, but I'm going to enter them a bit more. It's the cookery shows that I find hard work, but I'm not much of a chef, so I, I appreciate other people might, might enjoy them. I'm trying to think what else I've been doing, but just feeling quite sad. I can imagine. I'm quite not telling yeah. It's safe. I feel safe doing it. So, you know, there's something in that. So